Hey everybody, Chris Thunderlaser, and in this video I just wanted to show you how to test the LPSU on a Nova 24 with a glass tube. Now this is the LPSU and it is sitting on the left side of the machine. Uh, it is sitting this way and what we have to pay attention to is this red test button. Uh, sometimes in shipping um, that red test button is jarred loose so it's not sitting right there. Um, you can just use one of the lens cleaner Q-tip swabs to stick in there and uh, poke the actual button that's on the inside. But what we want to do first is we want to power the machine up. We want to make sure that the bed is clear so there's nothing sitting on the bed because this will fire the laser at about 50% power. Um, we're going to come over here to where the LPSU is and as you can see, mine has the cover off. This is kind of a demonstration unit, so don't be scared that this one looks different. It does, you're right. Um, but what we're looking for is the side here where we have our um, opto isolator board, and then we also have our AC power. So it's 120 volts coming in. You don't wanna be yanking on that with the power. What you do wanna do though, however, is remove this opto isolator board and it's just a little wiggle back and forth and it slides right out so I'm gonna stick it back in there real quick uh, again a little wiggle pull backwards or towards the front of the machine and it pops out if you don't remove that the test button will not work uh, this is the signal that controls the power uh, your settings and light burn and it's trying to read from there uh, and it will not fire if you don't pull that. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm taking the back end of my Q-tip and I am pressing, uh, you would be pressing your red button. I do not have one on this one. Um, and you can usually hear a little hum like that. And that's the laser, uh, the power supply trying to fire the tube. What we're looking for is that meter right there. All right, so we're looking to see how many milliamps, and that's about 12, 13, almost 14. All right, we want to see consistency, and we want to see how much or how many milliamps it's producing. Another thing to look at while you're doing this test. When you push that button, it will light the tube, and you'll be able to see the color of the tube and the condition, uh, usually dark Purple, pink is good. Uh, light pink is about midlife. White, pink is towards the end of life. And white is uh, a good time to think about getting a new tube. But once we're done with this test and you fire off that MA reading to tech support so we can diagnose the issues, we are going to just throw this opto isolator board back in just by sliding it in gently. I use two fingers pushing on the green terminals. Yellow light will come on and we are good to go. Uh, we had just tested our LPSU.